Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Our producer, Shannon Moore. Snubs! Is here. She is uh, the host also of, uh, producer of Know How, but host of uh, Coding 101. That's going great. Loving it. Thank you. Teaching everybody how to code. One you, of the you top feel ones on iTunes Are right you now. absorbing? I am. I love learning about coding. Yeah. It's so interesting. It's a great habit. Yeah, it is. Or hobby, I should say. <laughs> habit <laughs> for some, hobby habit. for others. <laughs> <laughs> we, you are also the uh, reader, reader, uh, reviewer. I am. I'm, we seem to, I don't know why. I'm kind of a bookworm. I don't know. It started with goosebumps when I was a kid, and ever since then. You like to read. <laughs> I do. <Good. laughs> I read every night. So, you know, the Amazon Kindle really dominates this market. It does. We've looked at others from, uh, you know, Barnes & Noble to Nook and so <laughs> forth. This is the Kobo. Yes. This is kind of like, I, I always kind of am rooting for them. They're the, uh, they're the little guy out in the corner there. The Kobo Reader. Yes, this is the Kobo Aura, which is their, it's basically the predecessor to their Kobo Glow, which I reviewed last year. Uh, the Glow's main thing was that it could brighten up. It had this front light on it, and it was very nice to use. So it's not like a pa the Amazon Paperwhite where it's from the back. It's coming no, from it's the coming front. No, it's coming from the front. Yeah, that's a completely different thing for them. Huh. Uh, if I turn it on, and we can use the overhead shot. It's pretty, so it's pretty legible without it. On but it gets really bright and nice, so yeah. One thing I really like about this is they have a, a, an actual physical light button uh -huh. instead of having to go through the menu and click yeah, it. So like say that. it's dark out, it, I mean, this is totally obvious. You just click the button instead of having it. to deal with going through the menu. So if I click that, you can see it brighten up and this is only about halfway brightness and it gets about wow. that bright. Yeah, so it's nice and bright. It's very clear. Uh, this one is a step down from their Aura HD, which we have also reviewed. This one only has a 212 PPI display, which mm -hmm. matches the paper white. So that's a very compatible device. You can do most of your reading on it just fine, but you can definitely see difference between this one and the Aura HD. That's even uh, higher resolution? Yeah, that one's a 265 okay. PPI display, I believe. Yeah. So it's definitely HD. On this one, you can see a little bit of pixels. Is it a little there. jaggy? I'm gonna, a little bit. Yeah. From you know what I like though? Like this is so nice and light. I and know, it is. You, you, you wouldn't have a lot of fatigue reading this. It's nice, yeah. And of course I can make the fonts bigger and all mm -hmm. that, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can do everything that you could do on their past uh, products on the Kobo line. They still have all the books available. It's wirelessly downloadable. So you can access their entire library and they have over 4 million books in there, all wow. of the top sellers. Wow. Uh, their library is growing too. I noticed a whole bunch of newer ones as well as some that I used to, couldn't find on here, like you know some comics and whatnot. Uh, so they're definitely growing their library and that's a definite plus for them as well. Because I know a lot of people are saying, no, don't want to get a Kobo because Amazon has more than them, well, which they do. They do. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, did, did you, as you browse the library, see gaps and things that you wanted but you couldn't get? Not necessarily now, as much as I used to. Right. Now I'm, I'm noticing a lot more than okay. I used to. So it's definite plus. Um, one thing to mention, though, on this one, it, it is $149, which is $30 more than the paper white uh, with the ads on it. I have a paper white at home, and I noticed that the size is a little bit different, but the screen is the same. So this one is six inches. So it's a really nice screen size, and it it's looks very great, light I white. To say, yeah. yeah, you can stick it in your purse and go. And the flipping of the pages is just fine. It's very quick, and it's a little bit of a response problem. I know sometimes I have to press it twice for it to turn, uh, but otherwise works pretty well, and it lasts for about two months. Can I get books on there through SD card, through USB, <laughs> and wireless, or just USB? There's a micro SD card slot oh, right that's here. that's nice. So you can fit up to, I think they said 3,000 or 30,000 bucks. I'll a have lot to, of books. Yeah, I'll have to check More than that you ever need. <laughs> to make sure. Okay. Yeah, so you can fit as many books as you could absolutely read, right. and then it charges from micro SD. It doesn't have the Amazon wireless capability, though, does it? You no. have to connect to a USB, to a computer. You do have to connect to USB. USB, but okay. you can access wireless on here. Oh, it does have wireless. Yeah, it has Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Right okay, great. Yeah. So not 3G, but Wi-Fi. Yes, exactly. Great. No. And do you need to run a special program on your computer to do that? Uh, they do have an on an application for computers, okay. but you don't. You can just download Books Street from here if you want oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah. It has its own easy. store on the yep. on the thing. Their All own right. store and everything. So my That's, pros and cons on this one, yeah. since it is 150, keep that in mind. Uh, the pros, it's compact. It's very easy to grip. They the back is more of a rubberized texture instead of that quilted background that they used to have. 
The physical light button is awesome. On the con side, the price being $30 more than the Paperwhite is definite and negative. And the 212 PPI display is noticeable from their HD version, which costs $169. Right. So it's a little bit more expensive for the HD version. So, so the... Uh it, did you play with the HD? Did you just try did. reading a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I played with the HD last year, and I thought the reading, uh, you could definitely see a difference yeah. with the pixel density on that one, but to be honest, whenever you're reading every night, it, it, it doesn't really bother you over time. So I would give this one a try, okay. uh, mostly because of the price. Do you use an e reader instead of books? I do. Yeah. yeah I use a paper white. And you use the Kindle? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. And, and I love it. And every night you read with the Kindle? Every single night, wow. yeah. And one of my favorite things about it is that back, backlighting on it because it's, it's so nice. I can fall asleep right next to my spouse and he never wakes up because I can just lower the brightness on you it. You know, that is it's actually great. a nice feature. Yeah. yeah, I love it. You can't do, necessarily do that with a, a transmissive screen, yeah. screen like the... Uh, that's true. Like the iPad. So the second one I have for you, this one is called the Kobo Arc 10 HD. Ooh. They have a 10 and a 7 inch version. This one's the 10 inch. So this is their, like the fire. Yeah. This is their color tablet Yes, style. exactly. So this is the main page right here. You'll notice automatically it does run Android 4.2, but it's totally skinned. And it's skinned because they're focusing on books. So the first thing you get to is the bookstore. So this is their own Kindle store. This is the books that I have on Kobo my own. store. Yeah, oh, Kobo Ooh. store, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, these are all the Kobo books that I have downloaded. So I can click into like an audio book if I wanted to and turn up the sound on here. Now these are not audible audio books. This is their own Kobo audio stuff. On. Do they, do they, um... So I don't know if you can hear that, but... Pictures Clay. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Good for the kids, though. That's great. Good for yeah. kids, yes, exactly. So I'll click out of there, and I can show you what a book looks like on here. Let's go home. I'll click on that one. This looks more like Android than the Amazon Kindle Fire. Very much so, yeah. yeah. It's a lot more Android. You can access the entire Google Play store on here. You can? You yes, you can. Ah, so it's AOSP. Okay. Yeah, which is great. Okay. That's, that's good, yeah. Nice screen on this one. I really like the screen. Uh, it's a 2516 by 1600 resolution screen, uh, which is wow. comparative to the HDX 8.9. Yeah. So about the same as that. Okay. And even though this one is 10 inches, not 8.9, looks good. you really don't see the pixels. It looks very, very nice and clear and crisp. Really easy to read books on here. I like the fact that you can access the Google Play Store on here as well. Yeah, because uh, now we're thinking this is an Android tablet as much as yes, a reading device. Exactly. Yeah. But they're definitely focusing on reading. They right. have these different things right here, which are your collections. Your bookshelf. So I have yeah. my bookshelf, want to read magazines, oh, Kobo collections, getting started to get you started with the Kobo. So it's really nice. I like how they displayed it. I did have a problem with the actual size of the device, though. Even though it's 10 inches, it weighs 22 ounces. It's really heavy compared to other ones on the on the market right now. Yeah. Like the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Yeah. That that's, one's like 13 ounces. It's almost a pound and a yeah, half. It, it's very heavy. You can tell. Yeah. So that would get bothersome to me over time if, if I'm reading for hours every night. You right. know, I, I wouldn't want to hold this in my hands for hours and hours. But the screen is nice. The speaker, speakers are pretty clear. You know, they're, they get kind of muddy if you turn them, turn them up too loud. They're on the back right here. There's two speakers on t both sides. There is no micro SD card slot either, but there is a front facing camera so you can make Skype calls. Uh, and it's pretty average. It's 1.3 megapixels and 720p. Uh, for any kind of video. And it's 16 gigs? Yes, it is. Okay. It's 16 gigs. For so, 400 bucks. Yes, $400. So yeah, it's $399.99. So my pros and cons on this one are the really beautiful screen. I very much like that. And you do get lots of internal storage, mainly for books. If you put too many applications on here, obviously you're gonna run out pretty quick. The cons, no micro SD card slot, which I would have loved, and the price, it is pretty pricey at $400. Yeah. That's expensive. So same with this one, I would give it a try. It's a good tablet, but they're, they're pricey. It's challenging too, because you're in a very competitive marketplace. I mean, that's priced almost to the iPad price, and it's more yeah. expensive than a Nexus. And so you've got this very competitive marketplace. You don't really stand out. You don't have as many books as Amazon. This is a very tough market for Kobo. It is. I'm rooting for them because they're the little guy. Me too. <laughs> but I always root for the little guy. Yeah, little dog. I, I just, I, I, I have a hard time recommending this for people when there are <laughs> big products exactly. from Amazon and Apple, among others, mm -hmm. and Google too, that compete directly. But Thank I still you. like checking them out. Shannon Morse.